Hey everyone. Hello. Good evening. Yes, it's a little dark. <laughs> we're over here in downtown Riverside. We're at Food Lab. First time. We've always driven by this place yeah. and it looks pretty neat. We're intrigued and we want to come down here and finally check it out. I remember when it looked like nothing. It was, it was just empty buildings. Food Lab was established not too long ago, I think in 2018, here in downtown Riverside. Not that old. It's the Inland Empire's first trendy food court equipped with so many diverse eateries and a beautiful bar. Exciting. It's not restaurant style. It looks like a fun place to come hang with friends and just grab something to eat from whichever artisanal eatery. They have plant-based burgers, tons of vegan options, waffles, coffee, pizza, spicy chicken, ramen, and they even have beignets. I went in there one time because I do Grubhub and Uber Eats deliveries and when I first went in there, I saw beignets in like one spot of this place and I'm like, beignets? What? We love beignets. We always yeah. get some from Disneyland and the ones at Disneyland are really good. So I'm going to try them and compare. We'll see how they are. Yeah. So come along on this journey and let's go eat. Food, food, food. I like bakalapa. We made it back. Comfort of our own home, no copyright music. <laughs> it's gingery. It's not like pungent uh, boom. Mm. Mm. It has mm. flavor. That's okay. This is my wrap. So I got the beef shawarma pita wrap from Fufu's Mediterranean Grill. I heard, uh, I saw some good reviews 
on there. And I always see people waiting in line at Fubu, so. Except for today. I wanted to try it out, yeah. For some reason, there was no line there really today. The food looks really healthy and good. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a burrito. That's what it looks like. Mm. Smells mm. good, smells good. I went to the place that had the longest line. I figure why not try their famous chicken sandwich. Chicken! Chicken! You know what I mean? This looks big and tasty. Looks like it has coleslaw, some pickles. Mmm. I wouldn't say coleslaw, it's more of a cabbage cabbage on there with some sauce. Mmm, can't wait to bite that. I got a side with it, which is macaroni. I want to take these things out here and impale your mouth. Mm. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm. That's pretty good. How's yours? And you got medium. They have like levels of spicy, like mild, mm -hmm. medium, spicy, or I don't know. I think it's hot and then, oh, sorry, babe. It's medium. Extreme. It has, which it has a spice. I, I'm kind of curious how extreme is, mm. but I'm not about to try it. Jeez. Mm. <coughs> That's not bad. Ooh. The mac and cheese is not bad. But it does have a kick. It's good. I do think the meat is a little dry, but I only took one bite. So let's go with the second one. I didn't get no sauce with this, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, there's no sauce with the pita. I feel like it's missing sauce. It should come with like some type of sauce because I don't know, it just feels, it feels dry. Like it feels kind of, not like dry, but like it's missing something, you know, like some type of sauce. She smells the chicken. She loves chicken. Mm. 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 It's still really good. I would get that again. It's I like spicy. it. Hi, honey. <laughs> yeah, overall, not bad. Wait till we get to the beignets. Yeah. I'm gonna try this because I'm curious. There's always a long line. I feel like Baba's chicken has the longest lines. Like people just wait for Baba. So I'm curious about this chicken. I put some honey on it. It's not bad. But it is. Right? It is a little dry, but I like it. It's not bad. It's not terrible. No, saying. it's pretty good. I can see why it's popular. Good flavor. Just a bit dry, but not too bad. Honey. Some honey on it. Honey helps and. Hi, honey. I can imagine the spicy ones. The spicier ones are tastier. Mmm. Mmm. I like that flavor. It tastes healthy. And they don't stir on the meat. It needs sauce. Yeah, like it's not that there's sauce in it, but it needs like I feel like I should be dipping it. It's good. I cannot wait to try these beignets. The only thing I see already is that it looks like the uh, whatever they fried them in is kind of soaking into the uh, powdered sugar. Mm. But they cannot wait to try them. They're fluffy, but they almost feel more like a donut. I got this. Well, is it like Jazz Kitchen? Is it like mm. Disneyland? There's a small hole in it. I'm okay, so it's it. like Disneyland. <laughs> uh, no, not really, because it's there's a small hole in it. A small hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Disneyland has a pretty big hole. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Like I said, this reminds me of a donut. Mm. Mm. Yeah, these are a little more dense. They're not terrible, but... Well, they do feel like more of a, a donut. Mm -hmm. Closer to a malasada, but not as fluffy and dense as a malasada. Uh, but, but close. A beignet? Pretty good. I feel like beignets should be hollow. Mm. Not like hollow, but there should be holes through throughout the beignet and this is really more dense doughy dense does not be Disneyland not even close I still like them like the taste and the I don't know not bad it just it reminds me of a a malasada like close but not too close but it's yeah. But I wouldn't pass these up guys. I personally I like them. I would get them again with coffee these with coffee. Oh my god. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, they would go great with coffee oh. I don't like them <laughs> I guess they're not bad Well guys final thoughts not bad. I would definitely go check out Food Lab if you're in the in the Inland Empire coming down to Riverside. Mm -hmm. You definitely need to come and check this place out. There's also a game lab, like right after you eat or before you eat. There's well, a really cool arcade. We call that arcade. Yeah. <laughs> but since it's at the Food it's Lab, the food it's, lab. And they call it the game lab. And it looked mm -hmm. pretty big. We were thinking about going in there, but we have food. And I think we had to leave our food at the table before you walked in. So we we're just we're gonna make a vlog on that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and like this video. And if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, let us know in the comment section if you have been to Food Lab. What have you guys eaten there? Let us know because we are always interested in How's trying. How's the enchiladas? That's what I want to know. Yeah, do they put ice in them? Do they not put ice in them? <laughs> Let us know. Yeah. All right, thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye. Bye. Chicken!